before, I need to show some of the examples which has been built before this to get some clear picture about what is a website, okay? So uh, today, uh, my approach is going to be uh, not using any programming languages. Don't worry, yeah? When you think about website designing, yeah, you will think about, you know, programming languages. Do I need to write a code? Okay, do I need to write a code or something like this? Okay, for example, let's say, uh, this is my personal website. Okay. Is my website. Can you see my website? I think you can see. Uh, so this website it's using WordPress. Okay. It's a very simple one. We uh, use the concept of minimalist. Okay, nothing much. Very simple one. Okay, minimalist concept. That's why you can see, you know, uh, very simple. Can you see my uh, website, right? You can see, right? Yes, doctor. Okay. So this is a minimalist concept, which has been developed by using WordPress. Okay. So maybe you think, do I need to write a code for this training? No, I'm not going to teach you the coding. Even I'm not an expert of the coding. Yeah? Okay. So you see, this is the code. Would you like to write coding like this? You want to write? No, doctor. This type of coding, yeah? Uh, then it's big headache, you know, you see. Uh, okay, big problematic. Okay, so today my approach is going to be a website builder, something like a drag and drop. There are so many drag and drop uh, website builders. Okay, so but I will introduce something that you never heard before this. I know you heard about the Bibli, uh, Wix.com, WordPress, and what are the differences? Okay, I will tell you. Okay. This is one of the website from the uh, WordPress, okay, using the WordPress. Another website using WordPress as well. This is award winning website. Okay, last year, uh, this year, but I submitted the competition. For competition, I, I, won, uh, I won the award. Okay, for this website, this one. Okay, uh, this website is a very complete, a uh, bit uh, solid. Okay, WordPress also. Okay, this is one of the Malaysian website award, favorite website award. Last year, I won this award. This is not my website, my friend's website. So I developed for him. Okay, this one quite complicated. Okay, so this one. Okay, I can teach you a little bit about WordPress, inter introduction only, but I will focus on website builder after that. Okay. And this is Bibli base. Okay. This website also, last time, two years ago, I won the award for this website. Uh, this is based on the Bibli. Okay. This is, I think you're familiar with the Bibli, am I right? Anyone familiar with the Bibli? Website builder? Anyone? Are you familiar? I heard yeah. of it. Oh, you heard about it, huh? I think most of the students, uh, they like to use Wix.com, am I right? W-I-X. Yes, doctor. Ah, okay, but I don't use that one, Wix.com. I know, but I very rarely you know I use that one website builder, but I use uh, Wibbly and some other tools. Okay. And there are a few websites, you know, what are the differences between these websites? This is so-called personal websites. Okay. Another website that I developed on, I think, four years ago. After that, I don't uh, really focus on this website because it's just a turnkey project I've developed. And I gave to them. Okay, this is one of the website. This is 
WordPress. Ah, uh, this is commercial website. Okay, commercial website. This one. Ah, uh, this now the company will update. It's not my company. The, another company asked me to develop the website, so I develop for them. Okay, this is a hotel resort. Okay. And this website is quite okay because every uh, there are so many visitors for this website. Okay, I see. Okay. So these are some websites. Okay. Now I focus on. I don't want to very. I don't want to be very theoretical. So I want to focus on practical things. But anyway, for the first session, I will focus on. Uh, Theoretical perspective, and one more request: uh, if you need a rest, please alert the secretariat. They can alert me. Then I can stop for a while, ten minutes or fifteen minutes. Is it okay? Okay, doctor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why there is no chat function over here? Is it, is there no chat function? There is, doctor. But I'm not sure why you don't have it. Because I'm not, uh, you know, a controller. <laughs> That's why. Uh, because I don't see the chat function. Okay, I don't have a function of that. Because otherwise, you can type something over there, then I can see that. Okay, anyway, no problem. Chat is only available for the team members and not guests. Ah, yeah. I think so. Okay. Microsoft team is very good, uh, actually, to use. But certain extent, uh, it's slightly, I mean, uh, Weebly is slightly better. I'm uh, not Weebly, I mean WebEx. Okay. Anyway. So I suppose to start 9.45. So now I start. <laughs> OK. So this is about uh, me. OK. Uh, you can check my website. And also, I'm a lecturer uh, from School of Business Management. And if you ask me uh, how I'm very interested in developing the website and also uh, technology, some technologies. OK. Now, I'm not only a website uh, trainer. I I also train the digital marketing. Mendeley, Mendeley is the academic software. Okay, and also WordPress and some digital teaching tools and so on. Okay. And my first degree and my master, my background is not IT. Okay, I'm not an IT background person. This is my hobby actually. Okay, whatever I learn, it's my hobby. I just Develop a website because of my hobby. Okay, since my student time. Okay. So if you want to know uh, more detail about me, uh, you can go here. Even you can Google and see my name. Okay, you go here. You type in Google. Okay, it will come out. My name. Then you can see. Uh, my website and so on. So many profiles over here. Then you can go to my website as well. Okay. My full details is here. Okay. Okay. Anyway. So today's session going to be uh, very simple. No big deal. Only three. Introduction about website building knowledge. I just took this one from your tentative. Second is tips on website developing skills and introduction of website building software. There are few hundred, a few hundred of building software, website building software uh, or website development software. Okay, but I'm not going to focus everything because uh, it's not. Uh, worth 
if i go for every everything then you don't learn anything so i just focus one tool and i will let you know but anyway i will introduce some other tools as well okay yeah okay and the last one is website building guidance for business okay for the business you can develop so it depend okay if let's say you want to go for the e-commerce base it's quite tough actually because uh, you need uh, you know uh, high network traffic you go, you need a uh, good search engine optimization you need a uh, web developer who can uh, who can update every day okay something like a shopee okay e-commerce websites okay okay so my session overview first i will focus on what is a website okay and what is static website and dynamic website okay website there are two types sir static and dynamic what is that okay i will explain to you uh, you must understand the theoretical uh, point before you develop the practical uh, practical websites okay websites okay type of website there are so many type of website okay not only limited to whatever i listed in the slide okay if you look at my slide i have listed few type of the websites third one is the development of the website and domain domain is very important okay and three cause in website development the most important thing you have to look into I think you are recording the session, am I right? Mohammad Eddy. Yes. Mohammad Eddy Record. is recording, right? Yes, doctor. It's recording. Okay. Are you put this one in any FB page, live page? No, right? No, doctor, no. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Okay. What is a website? Very simple. Eh? Website, it's a, a site or website is a central, okay? Or website is a central location of a web pages. We have a web pages, okay? Website is a only one page, you know, uh, like, a, you know, a single name, like a www.uum.edu.my. That is website. Web pages mean, and in the website, there are so many pages. Pages mean there are so many page. Okay, some website single pages. There is no clicking button, you know, just one scroll, you can see everything. Okay, some there are multiple pages that are related and accessed by visiting the home page of the website using a browser. So you need a browser. Okay, you need a browser to access any website. Okay, for instance, if let's say you want to go to the my website, you need a browser of Google Chrome, okay, age. Mozilla Firefox or whatever is it okay so this is a website and these are the pages I have a home page I have a page of awards okay I have a page of you know uh, about me experience okay academic portfolio then I have something like this uh, this is called pages okay. and to view the website you require a browser okay you cannot uh, browse the website without a uh, browsers okay it can be internet explorer edge safari firefox chrome and so on okay and the most important is websites website can be created and maintained by an individual group business or organization to serve a variety of purposes when we develop a website uh we have a purpose okay what is our target market and what is our main purpose for example if you look at the www.uum.edu.my the purpose is to give information to the student and student once login into a portal of uum they can check everything for example their result their profile 
uh, what are the subject has been uh, taken by them you can register your courses and so on that is for the educational purposes sometimes you know you develop a website for the individual purpose for example for the personal branding for example my like my website i created my website for my personal branding okay personal branding some website they create for the business to promote their business okay they don't they are not selling the product they just promote their business for example you go here uh, intel.com okay we go to intel.com they just promote they don't sell anything am i right uh, they just promote what are their products okay uh, what are the desktop they have okay you see all in one computer uh, now when you click uh, then you can buy so two in one everything if you go to dell uh, you can buy the web uh, products also and so these are the type of the websites i will detail up this one okay okay look at the interesting fact the first website was built at cern by tim berners lee he is the father of triple w nobody knows anyone heard this person name he is now a professor anyone heard this name tim berners lee anyone no ever heard ah uh, he is the father of triple w and launched on august 6 1991 Would you like? Do you want to see the first website in the world? Okay, you just Google and see. Okay, first website in the world. Eh? This guy is a uh, Tim Berners Lee. He is the father of Triple W. Okay. This is Sun. Sun is a short name, ah. Eh? Okay. This guy. Just want to introduce. You should respect, you know, because of him we can do lot of uh, miracles in the computer. Okay. You see, the first web page address was ah uh, this one. Not actually this one. Strong actually, okay. Not this one, okay. I think they changed already. Okay, you see, the first website is quite different, ah, huh? but they change the address name now. It looks like this, okay. Okay. So this is about the website, okay. Tim Berners Lee, okay, August six, nineteen ninety one. The first website was launched. Okay. Okay. These are personal website. Okay, personal website, entertainment website, e-commerce website, media website. So this is called as type of website. We have so many type of website. Okay. I think ah. Uh, Okay. Okay. Type of website. First one, personal website. Personal website is more to like my website. Okay, like this website. Okay, this is so called personal website. Okay. And entertainment website. There are so many entertainment website. I think in the world, number one uh, most visited websites are entertainment and the. social commerce websites or social uh, networking website okay it's not social commerce actually social networking okay we can put networking or social commerce websites okay 
entertainment website like a netflix i think you know about netflix right okay netflix entertainment website youtube are uh, entertainment websites you see then you can pay around i think uh, around 55 ringgit uh, per month depend on the package you want to take netflix okay okay and e-commerce website as well okay e-commerce website i think you know about this one e-commerce website like something like this shopee in malaysia okay world famous one is amazon.com Okay, you can buy anything except yourself from the Amazon.com. Apart from that, media website. Okay, media website. What is media website? Media website like a uh, Malaysia Kini. <coughs> News portal. Okay, or TV Tiga. Okay. <coughs> so sometimes you know you can watch the live program from here okay so this is called media websites okay educational website ah this is a very famous one eh? like a Coursera Educational website can be Coursera, even uh, UUM Online Learning, it's an educational website. Okay. So these are some, you can take some courses from here. Uh, Coursera, for example. Okay. For instance, Coursera. And we have a web portals. Uh, web portals, this is a web portal. Portal mean, uh, is a personalized portal. Then you have to access, for, for example, your portal, EUM portal, or you go to Maybank. Maybank to you. This is also called as a portal. It's a bank portal. Because when you log in into the Maybank by using your username and password, you will see only your detail, not your friend's detail. But when your friend access, your friend will see the his detail, any banking details. And also, we have a social networking and social commerce websites. Okay, uh, something like this, like a Facebook. So these are some Okay, you see. So people can post the message. For example, our TNC. Okay, post the message to uh, Ramadan Al Mubarak. Okay, Selamat menyambut Ramadan. Okay, something like this. So this is called, called uh, social networking websites. Okay. And the gaming website. Gaming website is a very famous one. Eh? There are so many online gaming websites. Uh, okay, like online games. Eh? Uh, and also we have, uh, you know, portal, online gaming portals. Okay, like in Disney, let's say one of the example. Then you can go here and you can play the games, for example. Okay. So these are type of website. So now you have to decide which web website you want to develop. You can develop any website, but personal website, you know, you don't need to update every day, but come to the entertainment, e-commerce, media website, social networking, website, web portal, educational website, this one, you need to update every day because people are visiting your website. Okay. Are you with me? 
Yes, okay. Okay. Oh, you confused already? No, no. <laughs> okay, because I don't see anyone faces over here. So that's why, you know, I don't know your reaction. In the class, when I conduct the class, physical class, when I look at their face, I know already. Okay. Okay. Wait, uh, uh, let me change the background effects. Hold on, eh? Someone asked to join. Okay, Okay, um, can I continue? Okay. okay. There are some, some of them still, you know, asked to join. Maybe you can control that. Yes, Dr. Yes, Enter it. Ah, okay, good. Okay. Okay, so back to this one. So now you decide. Okay, now you answer. Uh, which one you prefer? I think most of you want to go for the personal website. Am I right? Because I think uh, you need a personal website. First of all, um, you can create your own personal website and you can put everything, uh, your academic journey. You know, for example, uh, from semester one until semester seven. Whatever you've done, okay, uh, project that you involved, your achievement, your awards, everything you can dump into your website. Because in your resume, you cannot put everything. So what you can do in your resume, you can put your website address and let's say the employer want to check about you, they can go and check in the personal website. So easy for them. That's why, you know, uh, you need a personal website to create a journal about you. Okay. You you put everything over there. Okay. Okay, now we look at this one. Huh? Okay. What is static web and dynamic web? Okay. Static web and dynamic web. Dynamic web means static means one that fix and display the same content for every user, usually written exclusively in HTML. Not really HTML. Okay. Basically HTML. For example, my website. Okay, like my website. Um, if you go there, you don't need to log in, you know, anything. For example, let's say uh, Shantini enter my website. Okay. Another one, uh, Mohamad, I, I think Mohamad Adib, eh? enter my website. Both of them will see the same content about me. But 
when you go to dynamic web it's going to display different content and provide user interaction by making use of advanced programming and databases in addition to html okay for example portal you go to portal okay you go to portal when you log in okay when you log in you will see all of your details you don't see or you won't see my duty uh, that is called dynamic web not only that sometimes youtube also a uh, dynamic website for example i go to youtube.com and i log in use my account or even i don't log in also it will pop up the different contents over here it will pop up the different content okay okay depend one what i search before this if let's say if you go to your youtube your youtube it's, you're not going to uh, see something like this i listen to songs i li listen to the spiritual talk okay uh, so you won't see this one you want to is a youtube.com because it's already uh, customized based on your uh, search historical record okay yeah? you go and see your youtube definitely not like this unless you log in to my uh, you know by using my uh, email address okay so far okay or you get confused because so many information okay doctor okay eh yeah. only one voice i can listen you know the rest are they sleeping because now is the 9:30 or 10 o'clock 10 o'clock is not a uh, wake up time <laughs> okay anyway how many join na uh, today uh, can i check wow oh, now 57 students eh okay i like the nature so i put nature oh my god okay Okay. okay. Any question? No question, eh? Keep quiet. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is about okay. A dining website type of website. When you develop a website, there are three things you have to consider. not just develop a website you know if you want to develop a website something like this okay something like this or something like this oh, sorry okay this one use wordpress just now there is there was one student you know mention about wordpress uh can i get back to you who's that just now wordpress one student you know she is from e-commerce class yes me doctor yeah yeah uh you are using uh what's your name nor ain ain farisha ain farisha ah nor ain farisha uh you develop your for for business for business mm. using wordpress.com or you use the any hosting service hosting i use hostgator domain name i use ionos and the platform i use ebot.com wordpress oh, okay 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 use hostgator eh hostgator yes. um, how much you pay 15 15 per year per month per year But, actually, uh, 
Yeah. Every day, there is one person in charge in getting um, unlimited. Then she gather all student in the class to to get the same the same hostage host hosting. Do you you do you have uh, that website until now? Yes. What's the domain Because name? The uh, domain name Farm Seven Distributor. Uh, how to <laughs> how to spell? Uh, www.farm7 f a r a n 7 na uh, no farm number 7 7 distributor distributor.com okay this one yes this is okay so they develop the uh, okay so they use the wordpress Again, yes, you can WordPress. use WordPress as well. Okay. <laughs> Are you seriously doing this business or only for the class purpose? Ah, uh, this ah uh, my father's business. Ah, uh, your father's business, ah. Huh? Okay, mm. that's the thing. Okay, so good. Okay, WordPress is quite ah uh, actually not easy, yeah. WordPress because there are so many things you have to learn from the WordPress. Okay. But today I I can't teach you the WordPress, but I can show to you how does it work, okay? But I will bring you to another uh, website builder similar to the WordPress, okay? Okay, this one, ah, eh? okay, thank you. Ah, uh, is that, ah, eh? uh, Norayna, eh? okay. Welcome, doctor. Okay. So when you develop a website, the first thing is you need a hosting. What is hosting? Hosting means uh, the it's like a, you know land. If let's say you want to build a house, you need a land. On the top of the land, you will build a house. Something like that. Web hosting is the uh, you keep all your files. Okay, keep your files. Okay, type of internet hosting services that allows. Allows individuals and organization to make the website accessible via the World Wide Web. Okay, I can show my web hosting right now. Okay, and also uh, web hosting. There are many type of web hosting, but depend you know depend on your usage. If let's say you want to develop for the personal website, the simple one is enough. If you want to go for the very advanced one, high traffic, unlimited domain, unlimited add-on domain. Highly secure. You need a uh, something like a dedicated or VPS or cloud hosting. Okay, I will I will show to you. This is very technical actually. Okay, first you need a web hosting. Second, you need a domain. Domain is like a I think you are very familiar with the domain dot com dot com dot com. Not like that. Eh? Domain there are few type of domain. Top level domain is like a dot com. Okay, like this one. Like this one, top. Ah, uh, dot com, dot net, dot org, dot base, dot gov, and so on. Okay, but the another level is gtld. This is now very famous, you know, gtld. Gtld means gener generic top level domain. It means there is no dot com, you know. They will put dot aero, dot cat, dot asia, dot mobi, dot coop, dot travel. It means if let's say you are running a company, tourism company, okay. So your company name is let's say uh, Berjaya Resort. So in order to put Berjaya Resort dot com, so what you have to put is Berjaya Resort dot travel. There is no dot com, you know. So when you put something like that, when people know that oh dot travel, oh definitely this company is a traveling agency. Oh dot jobs, okay, something like this. Okay, I can show it to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Let's say uh, dot. Even uh, nowadays they want to go for the dot BMW, dot Nissan, dot something like that. Okay. Or dot automobile. Okay. You see here. Yeah?
You see here, not automobile. If I have not mistaken. I think dot car ID, dot car websites. When we have, uh, you know, if let's say you are running a business, dot halal business, in order to show that you are a halal business, you can buy, you know, club, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, farm seven, dot halal, you can buy. Okay, but very expensive. Eh? That type of website, very ex expensive. Okay. Um, when you search, yeah, you don't see that one. Um, okay. Now you see, dot cars. You can buy this domain as well. For example, uh, Proton. Okay. Okay. I give you the tips, eh? I give you the tips. Proton is one of the brand name, you know, right? So you see the Proton dot cars, Proton dot car, Proton dot auto. It's still available. If you buy this one and you keep this one, suddenly Proton want to buy that Proton dot auto. They cannot buy. Then you can demand to the Proton. You can sell back to them with a higher price. This is one of the business you know people are doing. Okay, you can do that actually. Okay, these domains, but you see the price, eh? Okay, I go to GoDaddy, complete the order. Very expensive actually. You see the price? Is it very cheap? <laughs> this is the price $2,800 almost the price is around uh, $11,000 I think okay around $11,000 but if let's say suddenly Proton want to buy Proton.cars you can demand to them you pay me $100,000 I will give it to you this website once you buy this website nobody can buy this website uh, okay, this one we call it. Uh, the name is uh, wait, uh, sometimes they call it a uh, cyber espionage, which means you steal the information. Okay, you know the company going to buy, so you buy before them. Okay, or they call it cyber squatting. This is one of the business, you know, people are doing. Okay, yeah. Is the price usually for a year or for a lifetime? Pardon? I didn't hear you. For the domain name. Okay. Usually the price is for one year only or for lifetime? For one year only. Domain you have to buy one year. The pop-up price is just for one year. Then every year you have to renew. But at one time you can uh, buy up to three years, five years. But multiple price. Okay, thank you. I will show to you how to buy the domain. No worries. Okay. Okay. Uh, when you buy this one, then you can demand to the Proton. Okay, this one, one of the business. Eh? I'm a business lecturer. That's why I teach you how to do. This is not unethical business. Eh? This is ethical business. Cyber squatting, they call it. Cyber squatting. Uh, Norain, have you learned this one in uh, your e-commerce class? Norain Farita. Uh, not really, doctor. Ah, okay. But I teach this one in my class to my students. Cyber squatting, this one. It's kind of interesting, doctor. <laughs> okay, this is the thing. Cyber squatting is registering, selling or using a domain name with the intent of profiting from the goodwill of someone else's trademark. 
for example your friend uh, start a company but not yet register the domain you buy the domain before him then you demand to him or uh, you pay this much then i can give uh, this one this one we call it cyber squatting or sometimes they call it cyber espionage almost same but there are some difference okay cyber espionage cyber espionage is like uh, you are uh, getting some information from them it's like a cyber spy okay um, good okay so that is called uh, gtld country level domain is like a dot cn dot my dot com dot my dot uk for example you want the kingdom uh, dot uk if let's say you want to buy the domain from uk you cannot buy you know you must be a citizen of that country then only you can buy like a malaysia dot my you have to uh, you must have a, uh, you must have a company or if let's say you want to buy the dot my you need a identity card okay or you must be a pr something like that okay dot com dot my dot my is controlled by this one we have a malaysia you know my mix okay sorry oh my god this is one of the malaysian agency control the dot com dot my whatever dot my is controlled by this uh, mining you cannot simply buy a mining i mean dot my websites okay uh, mining you can buy from any other company but it will be registered under the mining this one i have an account you know over here okay uh, so you have to register the domain name under mining but you still can buy from others but it, the information will be transferred to the mining okay okay you go and read this about this one very interesting one okay and another one is sub domain sub domain something like uh, you know uh, like this the main website is www.uum.edu.my but sub domain website something like uh, you know sbm dot uum dot edu dot my so this is sub domain sbm is sub domain no more www sometimes you know we have a soc school of computing i sorry dot uum dot edu dot my okay, it doesn't work uh, sog yeah i think ah uh, is work Uh, SOG, SOC, okay. This is called subdomain. So now you understand two things. Eh? Uh, first is hosting, second is domain, and the third one, after you buy the domain, uh, after you buy the hosting, then you buy the domain then only you start to develop the website okay uh, this is our main agenda of this class this training okay you can build a website from scratch by using the html javascript css uh, java python okay angular whatever programming language to develop a website okay. but most of the website right now they use this one content management system for example wordpress joomla drupal agrocard tomato card and so on okay if you don't want to use the content management system you can use the website builders website builder what's the different is almost same but the different is you no need to install the script over here and you develop the website so what you do is you go and register in the website builder like a weebly wix squarespace duda box mode and so on okay ionos and so on okay then you can develop a website that's the thing okay so there are three approaches you can use
But today, I'm going to focus about this one. Develop a website by using the website folder. Sorry, website builder. But I will introduce what is this. Okay. And also, if you want, uh, want to learn a code, you can learn the code also. Okay. So let me conclude this one. Okay. So when you want to develop a website, uh, whatever website, personal portal, e-commerce, entertainment, or news portal, whatever is it, you need uh, three things, domain, hosting, and web development. So in order to do this one, you need a people and a process. You must know the people, I mean, who want to develop, who are the people involved in that particular development. Okay. Okay, uh, this one, start from scratch, as I mentioned to you right just now. HTML, CSS, HTML5, PHP, Java, C Sharp, okay, XML, and Angular. The, there are so many programming langu languages you can use, Python, and so on. Okay. Don't get confused, eh? I know. Uh, especially, I think some of you are accounting information system students, am I right? Yes, sir. Okay. You learn the VB, right? Visual Basic. What programming okay. language? What programming language you learn? We not yet start, doctor. Pardon? Not yet learn, doctor. Oh, not yet learn. So, okay. most likely, what language you will learn? I, I can't hear you clearly. PHP, doctor. PHP, HTML, Java. Oh, PHP, HTML, Java. PHP, yeah? Okay, okay. Yes. Ah, PHP is the web base. Okay, you will run the local host and you run the PHP. Okay, never mind. Okay. I like to change the view. Huh? Okay. So this programming languages you can from you can learn from this website you know actually uh, w3 school okay so you can learn uh, you know css html from here angular jquery javascript you can get from here but i don't really interested to learn everything because it's a bit uh, tough not tough, actually be challenging, you know. You have to start from the basic one. Okay, ah, you see. Java, C++, C Sharp, R, R programming. Okay, for the AI, what are the things? Pandas, data science. Okay, web templates also we have. Okay. So these are the codings, you know. You can get the codings from here. Okay. Okay, wait there. Uh. Okay. Okay, hold on. Eh? Mm. There is one website I want to show to you.
Okay. Um, let me share again. Okay. So these are some method you can start from scratch. It means uh, just a coding. Okay. Apart from that, content management system. Content management system. You just install the script, uh, scripts, WordPress, Joomla, or Drupal, or Magento, or Zencart. Then you can uh, develop a website. I think uh, Nur Ain used the WordPress, right? You install the script. Am I right? Yes, doctor. Yes. Uh, you install the script. Uh, you buy the hosting. You add on the domain, and you install the script WordPress. Uh, yes. And based on the themes, you develop the website. Website. Okay. That's a process. Okay. So not limited to only this. Eh? There are so many content management systems. I will show to you later. Okay. And we have a website builder. Okay. Today, I'm going to introduce several website builders. I'm very familiar with the Wix, Squarespace, Bibli, Google site. In fact, I'm a Google certified. Okay, I'm a Google certified, uh, um, Google Cloud certified professional. Okay, I have a certificate of Google. And also, uh, UCraft, I'm not very familiar. UCraft, UCraft. Site 123, I used before this. Webador, I never use. Okay, today I'm going to introduce box mode. Have you heard this website builder before this? No, doctor, no. Anyone? No, doctor. If anyone, if anyone heard this one, angkat tangan. You can click the icon. Box mode. Anyone use this one? No one, eh? Oh, none of you. Okay. Good. Okay. So, uh, there are several website builders. Weebly, I think you are very familiar. Wix, you are very familiar. What about Google site? Anybody use Google site? You can raise your hand, you know. If you don't want to talk, you can raise your hand. I think you can raise your hand in the, you know, like this. Uh, no one, eh? I can view all, you know, because I have a limited control over here. Okay. Okay, no one use Google site. The Google site is a free one, you know. Okay, free one. And I can teach also Google site. But I don't want to uh, teach you the Google site because of a uh, few reasons. Okay, few reasons. I Today, I focus on box mode, website builder. But in fact, I'm a Google site, you know. I'm a Google uh, certified professional. Okay, I have a certificate. Uh, I have to show to you, then only you trust me. <laughs> this is my certificate. Ah. Okay. Ah, this is my Google certificate. Okay, Google Cloud certificate. Okay, I got last year. Okay, good. Okay, let me tell you the interesting fact. Okay, no, Ryan. You buy the website, you buy the hosting, you pay the money. Am I right? Just now, a friend, no, Ryan, right? 
Nurain Fariza. Nurain? Are you listening to me? Hello? Are you listening to me? Can can hear you. Yeah. Oh, can hear. Okay, okay, yes. okay. Please do respond, you know. Otherwise, I feel I'm talking alone, you know. I don't want to repeat again. After half an hour, I talk. Then he said, so almost 30 minutes, sir. We never heard anything. Uh, then uh, it's going to be a big problem. Eh? Because now we are in the online session. So I do not know whether you are listening to me or not. Okay. Okay, let me tell you the interesting fact about the hosting, okay, the domain and everything, okay, programming languages, eh? okay. For the hosting, eh? okay, I can show to you, uh, this is my hosting, I bought from the Exabytes. Okay, and then you can see my screen. Okay, uh, and you can buy this one, you know. So I buy the share hosting. There are several types of hosting, WordPress hosting, SST hosting, reseller web hosting, okay, and also VPS hosting, cloud, you see, cloud server. Uh, just now I mentioned, right, dedicated server, cloud, and so on. Okay, but I bought the, uh, this one, okay. Okay, you see, yeah. So I have a four domains and two services. Okay, then I have a Then I can log into my C panel. This is hosting. Uh, this is under one company, you know, not my company, another one, but I manage this one. Okay. Okay. This is called hosting. Okay. Hosting service. You can see so many things here. Okay. And from here, you can install the script. Okay. In order to buy the, you know, uh, domain. You can buy from here. You can register the domain. For example, if let's say you want to buy the domain.com or .my or .asia or premium domains, you can buy from here. Okay, But like .cars, sometimes you cannot buy. You have to go to specific website only. Okay. If let's say you want to buy the .halal uh, domain, you have to search here. Uh, it's not under the... You cannot buy any domain from any company. Okay, dot com you can buy from anywhere. Okay, let's say we go to the dot halal domain. Eh? Ah, dot halal domain Asia registry. We can buy this one, we call it GTLD. But from uh, Exabyte, you cannot buy the halal because they are not authorized to sell the halal. Okay, let's say I want to buy the halal uh, Malaysia dot halal. Is it available? We can see that. You see, it's already reserved. Okay. Not reserved. Okay. You see. We have, uh, you know, this is we call generic new TLD. Dot army, dot charity, dot democrat, dot foundation. No more dot com, you know, nowadays. Eh? It's all reserved. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's say uh, let's say you want 
chicken dot alar you want to web, buy the website chicken dot alar is it available Something wrong. Okay. Uh, maybe I can go to this website. Okay. Okay. But I think dot al Malaysia dot alal has been uh, reserved by someone. I cannot buy. Okay. It has been reserved. It's been reserved mean someone already buy. Maybe we can check, you know, Malaysia. Sometimes they, they, they buy their domain, you know, but they don't develop the website. Uh, you see, Malaysia.alal is not available. But somebody already reserved that one. Okay, maybe I can buy, uh, let's say, uh, chicken. I am process. Let's say you are running a company, I am process. You want to show that you are a halal company, then you buy this domain. Uh, it's available. Okay, you can pre-register. Okay, it will be announced, you know. So they don't put the price over here. You have to reserve, then they will tell the price. Not like a dot com, dot my, something like that, you know. Okay, that's the thing. Okay. So this is called a uh, hosting service. In the hosting service, you can see so many things. The most important is installers. Okay. To buy the domain, you can go here and you can register the domain. For example, I want to uh, buy the domain from this Exabyte. Okay, they are the seller. So I can domain sage. You can go to the godaddy.com also. There are some godaddy.com. Okay, GoDaddy, HostGator. This is a very famous one. Eh? You can buy the domain as well. Okay. But I prefer Exabyte Malaysian Company. So I want to register the domain. I go here. Uh, let's say uh, I want to buy one domain. Uh, Machik.com. Definitely not available. I'm very sure. Uh, somebody already taken. But machi.com.my available. Okay, maybe I can take machi sinto. Available. Uh, so I can tick and I can buy for one year six, 62 ringgit 90 cent but if you go to some other domain sellers maybe the price is only 55 ringgit okay what's the difference okay uh, because uh, Exabyte they give a ID production I, ID production mean uh, when you register the website they will protect your ID when you go to this, this website, who his website? This one, eh? you can check the profile of the website. Okay, profile of the domain, sorry. For example, madijl.com, my website, right? Okay. It won't show this one belongs to whom. If let's say I don't protect by ID uh, ID protection, it will show you know uh, my name, uh, which server, everything it will show. So people can access that one. Okay, that's why this is very technical. Huh? I think this is not important. Okay. So once I want to buy, let's say I want to buy this one, I can click continue. I can buy, then I can add uh, ID protection. 
Uh, actually, you want, if you want to buy the ID protection, you have to pay money. You know that's why you know some company their domain price is only fifty ringgit, but they don't provide the ID protection. But Exapite they provide the ID protection. That's why the price slightly different, maybe five or six ringgit different. Okay. Then I can go to continue. Then I can pay. For example, continue. So I have to set my server server address. This one is my hosting server address. You have to set a. Uh, uh, that one is very technical. I'm not going to cover that one. Okay. Uh, actually, I can check out, you know, because uh, I have money in my account. I have around thousand four hundred ringgit in my account. Okay, I deposited. Okay, I can buy anything from here. Okay, this is called hosting domain, and now we move to website development. Okay. Okay. Okay, when go to the uh, hosting, okay, hosting something like this, exabytes. Okay. I think you are very tired, huh? Because I'm not tired because I'm telling everything. You guys sometimes feel tired. <laughs> okay, you go to exabytes, right? Okay, again, I go to my exabyte. Okay. I go to my hosting. Eh? Okay, my account. Okay, uh, I go to C panel. So once I buy the domain, Okay, if you have a hosting something like this, why I'm telling about hosting? Because I will show to you how to get the free hosting. But free hosting, there is some, there are some limitations. Okay. Would you like to know about how to buy the free domain? How to buy the free uh, hosting? Would you like to know? No need to pay money. One ringgit free, uh, I think one year free for the domain. Okay, I can, uh, okay. I, I can tell you the tips and tricks, okay. Okay, you see, yeah, uh, this is the call. Uh, let's say I want to install the script of WordPress. I think Noor Ain Fariza familiar with this one. So these are the scripts, you know, okay, CMS. You can build anything. Okay, for example, uh, WordPress under the blocks, you know, actually the website. You have a Pubwana, Dot Clear, Serendipity, B2 Evolution, Text to Pattern, and so on. If you want a CMS, we have a Joomla. Joomla is very famous. UUM use Joomla. They don't use WordPress. Okay. When we have, let's say you want to open a real estate business, you can install this script. Okay. Any script you want to install can install from your hosting. This one we call it as, um, you know, a scripts, okay, script, web scripts. Okay, so many scripts. Forum, you want to develop a forum website, you can develop. No need to develop from scratch, you know, you just install. Okay, you want to try, let's say, I want to install a social networking website. So what I can do? Let's say I take the dolphin, eh? social networking. So I want to develop the, some social networking website. So I can create something like this. Ah. So what I do, I go here, I click install, and I have a lot of domains uh, associated here. So I can install here, okay? 
let's say I want to install in the mdsalimon.com. This is one of the website. Okay. Then I can put. Uh, okay. I can install. Just test that. Okay. This is how you install the script in the hosting. Even WordPress also same. Okay. I think this training, eh, I can conduct three days, you know, if you want full day training. Okay, now you see eh, one website has been uh, created. I go here. So I have created a, a social networking website. So I can release this one. Okay, then I can edit from here. Is one of the example of website okay so you see so if someone want to join they can join okay people they can it's like a, you can create your own networking website okay. if let's say you want to install the wordpress okay you can install the wordpress install now and which website you want to, uh, you know, uh, install? Let's say mgsalimon.com. Okay, I put here. I copy. Okay, then I install. This is a WordPress. Okay, so it has been installed mgsalimon.com, you see, the website is here. So if let's say I want to edit the website, I have to log in. Uh, so WordPress login, something like this. So you can customize your website from here and you can install the plugin and so on. This one you can learn from the Norine. Norine, can you conduct a training on WordPress? Alright, Farisa. Yeah, yes, doctor. <laughs> Can you conduct the training on WordPress? Uh, no, I, I only refer to YouTube, doctor. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good. You, you can learn from the YouTube as well, okay? okay. So, uh, I learn in that way, you know, I read the books and I learn from the YouTube. So, I can customize my website, you know, okay? Then I can add the new themes. Let's say I want to, okay. Okay, I want to add the theme, okay. Then I install the theme. Just now, uh, the website looks like this, right? So once I install the themes, then I can edit. But I'm not going to teach you the WordPress, you know. I will teach you the another one. Okay, now like this, right? Once I activate it, it's going to be like this. It's very easy to edit. Okay, uh, so now I have to edit. Okay, now you see, eh? Website change ready. So I can customize. From here, I can customize. Then this one is one of the very good, uh, you know, very good CMS, Content Management Software. Okay. So I can apply the preset. Okay. Publish. Okay, so you see, I can install this one. Now you see my website is different. You see? Then after you, after that, you can edit this one. This is CMS. Okay. 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 
So I use WordPress to develop this website, and this is the one of the award-winning website. Okay, and this is one of the website also. This year I send this website for competition. Okay, every year I will send for the competition. Okay. Now I give you the very uh, interesting, very very interesting fact. Okay, I told you right. You can get the free hosting and also free websites from these websites. You know, uh -huh. you can get free domains. Free websites mean free domains. Okay, from this one. You go to this website, freenorm.com. You can get the free uh, domain for one year, but it's not the .com. Eh? You can get the domain, but it's more to .tk, .cc, something like that. Okay, you go and register the uh, one account, freenorm.com. Then you go here, register a new domain. Register a new domain. Then you find out, let's say, uh, Machi, uh, Machi Shinto. Okay, you can get the free domain. Eh? No need to pay 60, 60 ringgit or 40 ringgit. Just for the assignment purposes, you can use this one. But after one year, you have to pay. But if you want to buy the .com, uh, you have to pay immediately. There is no one year free. This one, one year free. I see. Machisinto.tk.ml.gar.cf.gq. Not very famous one. This is free. But you can buy. If you want to buy the machisinto.com, uh, 36 ringgit. You can buy from this website. But without ID protection. Okay. Then you can put like this. Get it now. Okay. Okay, check out. You can get from here. Okay. So you already have. You want, then you choose. Eh? After you add, you choose one year free. After one year, you have to pay 30 ringgit. The so next year, then followed by year by year. So this is very cheap actually. Because this is not a dot com. If you want to dot com, if you want a dot com, you have to pay. Okay, I continue. Eh? Uh -huh. Then, uh -huh. how to get the free hosting? Remember, I told you, you need a hosting, you need a, a domain, and you need a web development skill. Three things to develop a website. So I teach you this one first. But after this, you don't need any hosting, you don't need any domain. You don't need any uh, specific development skill. You just use the website builders, as I told you, this one. Now I'm teaching this one. Okay, content management system. After this, I will teach you uh, this one, box mode. Uh, you don't need to, uh, you know, uh, buy the hosting or nothing. Okay, or anything you have to buy. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Now we go to the free hosting. Uh, you can develop, uh, you can get the free hosting as well. But the problem of the free hosting is it's very limited. Sometimes the server is very slow and highly vulnerable for the hackers' attacks. Highly vulnerable. It means people, uh, the hackers easily can attack your website. That's the problem of the free hosting. Okay. You can go to the freehosting.com. There are so many. You have a free hosting. Hostinger also can. You're one of the very famous one. Okay. Now we charge 999 cent per month. Huh? You can go here. If you don't want, you go to the free hosting. Okay. I sign up. Okay. Uh, this is very limited. Unlimited. You can park only one website. You cannot park many websites. Okay. No subdomain, no subdomain. Okay. No subdomain aliases. 
Okay, so we can order now. Okay, uh, you can buy also. If you don't want to buy, you can use the existing domain, which is this one. Machisinto.com. I don't think it, sorry. This one, dot TK, eh? It's a bit technical, eh? Some of you may not to catch up. Am I very fast? No, doctor. Okay, you can follow, right? Okay, never mind. So, dot TK cannot be registered, never mind. So, maybe we can put the dot com, never mind, use only. So, register new domain, you can register. You can register also, okay, dot .io and so on. Or you want to use uh, existing domain and update my name server. Okay. But unfortunately, dot .tk, you cannot connect. Okay. Never mind. I can use, let's say, my website. So it's a free hosting they gave to me. Okay, so so I just none. Okay, complete order. So I get the free hosting. Oh my god. Actually, I'm teaching you the tips to get the free hosting. Eh? After this, I will teach you the web development. One by one. Domain, now free hosting. Okay, now you can get. This one, eh, you can read, you know. Uh, okay. So, this is your uh, so-called uh, so free hosting. Okay. Let me verify mine. So this is the one, so I have to verify. Okay. So has been verified. Okay. So now I can, if you want, uh, this one. You have to play around. The same like this one, you know, actually. Same thing. You see? But the service uh, service provided by them is quite different. Okay? So my services, I can, uh, it's still pending, eh? Because I just created an account, right? So still pending. So I create this one. Okay, so it will take time to but this website is not from the this hosting, yeah. Okay, I did not connect yet. Okay. Still pending. It will take time sometime because it's the free one. If you buy yeah, immediately it will be activated. Okay. Okay, uh, so I have covered the most important things. Okay, what is uh, CMS, Scratch, and also the website builder. Okay, uh, until now, I teach you the theoretical points. 
Okay, how does it happen? Website and little bit about getting free hosting and free domains. Okay, but I have a very limited time. I cannot go one by one. Eh? It's very uh, difficult. But I show to you some important key points that you can catch up. Okay, so when you develop the website, okay, especially when you use the website builders, okay. Um, who is the secretary at that moment? Eddie? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Mama Eddie, can we take a uh, 10 minutes break for a while? Sure, doctor. Sure, can. Doctor, can. Because uh, maybe uh, for 10 minutes, they can check the free hosting and everything. Uh, free hosting, free domain, and some other websites. Before we continue around 11.20, is it okay? Sure, doctor. Sure, doctor. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, before you leave, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, you can get the free coding from this website, GitHub. Very famous one, eh? GitHub. Uh, I like this website. I have an account. Hey, what happened, eh? Okay, okay, then. Still pending, yeah? It will take time. Okay, maybe a few hours. Okay. Okay, you can go to the GitHub. I have an account, but something wrong with my account today. Okay, uh, maybe I can sign in. I forgot the password. Uh, okay. Before you leave, uh, you try to get into this website. Eh? Uh, if you go to the GitHub, okay, uh, you can, a lot of things you can see, you know.
Bye. I'm back. Okay. Uh, Sorry, five minutes late. Uh, okay. I received a call actually. That's why quite late. Today is a public holiday as well. Kedah public holiday, first Ramadan. Ah, I forgot to tell. Selamat menyambut Ramadan, eh? Okay. Are you ready? Yes, doctor. Oh. Yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. Yep. Ready. Um, okay, uh, the first session, uh, I teach you, okay, uh, I explained uh, about a uh, theoretical perspective of the website development. What are the things you have to understand when you develop the website? You cannot simply develop the website unless you use the website builders, uh, which you no need to think about, you know, web hosting, especially. Okay, especially web hosting. When you develop the website, uh, website by using the website builders like a Bibli, Wix, Boxnot, iBoxMode, uh, webs.com and whatever is it, you still can connect to their main domain, TLD, top level domain. Remember, top level domain is .com, .net, .biz. GTLD, like, uh, you know, .com, .my, .halal, .car, something like that. Okay? And I explain a uh, few businesses by, you know, uh, using the domains, which is cyber espionage, cyber squatting, and so on. Okay, anyway. So, uh, second session, I will introduce specific tool to develop a website, okay? In the end, all of you uh, lead the training session with one product, which is your personal website, okay? With subdomain, okay? With subdomain, not the main domain, eh? W dot, let's say w dot nor Aisha dot com, not like that. Maybe you can get the subdomain. Okay. But if you want to connect to your main domain, also no problem. You can connect. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, Okay. Just now I used free hosting, right? So it has been activated. So now I can use the service, uh, my service free hostings. Okay. So I can go here and I can see. Okay. My domains. Okay. Then I can see here. These are things. I can go home page. Okay, free web hosting. Okay, here we go. Okay. So my host, something like this. Okay. Okay. So you see, log into direct admin. So you will see something like this. Okay, it's quite different eh, compared to this one.
Okay. So you can handle, you know, free hosting, something like this. Then you can play around with this one. Okay, file managers, webmail, and so on. Then if you want to install something, then you can do DNS management, site direction, and so on. Okay. So it's very simple, okay? And you can install the, all the WordPress from your domain. Okay. Because this is a free domain, so I can't add any more domain over here. Only one domain, okay? I can add, okay? So let's say I click WordPress here. Yeah. Uh, you can uh, play around with this one after this. You see, similar to my paid hosting, you know, same one. Okay, you still can use this one. Okay. So I hope you can explore more about this one later. Then you will enjoy exploring this one. Okay, any question? Any question? So far, no doctor. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> okay. So let me explain to you the process. Eh? What, what are the steps you will follow in this class after this? Okay. So basically, uh, wait a eh? This is your tentative. Uh, Eddie, what time I should stop? 12.30. Oh, 12.30. Then we start back? At 2. At uh, 2 o'clock. Huh? Oh, one and a half hour. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, um today we are going to use website builder since you have uh, you know you don't have hosting, you have to spend money. Even free hosting also, there are very, very limited features. And if I want to teach content management system, it will take you know it will take a, a long time, few hours to teach and it's a bit complicated and i think even time allocation uh, does not allow me to proceed with the content management system that's why i will teach you website builder and i will focus on uh, boxmode.com okay but i will i will show to you uh, related to the Wibli and the google site as well okay and mix as well little bit little bit only okay um, okay, whatever website, even though, uh, you know, you are taking approach of website, drag and drop, CMS or start from scratch, you have to follow this step. Very important. Okay, first, first step, uh, for your case, you have to search website builder for you. Which website builder you want to use? You want to start from scratch? You want to uh, use any software? Sometimes, you know, you can use software, you develop the website and you can upload in the system. Okay, you can upload in the FTP panel. Okay, for example, I use the uh, FTP panel, something like this. FileZilla client. Okay. So I will connect here and I will connect with my server by using the FileZilla FTP client. Okay. You can use also, but <clears throat> for this case, first search website builder. So for this class, I'm going to use box mode as I told you before this. And second is, 
after you choose then you evaluate why i need to choose a uh, box mode instead of google site bibli and so on okay let me tell you the reason box mode okay the beauty of the box mode is you can connect to the domain for example you buy the domain www.sara.com for example okay you buy the domain and you want to connect to the box mode it's free you can freely connect to the boxmode.com so once you click the www.sara.com the website will be from the boxmode.com okay but use your personal domain but other than this like a wix bibli you have to pay the money to connect the domain we call it domain mapping okay domain mapping that is the technical word okay so therefore i choose box mode second is box mode is very user friendly very nice view i mean very nice uh, design ux design and very easy to do search engine optimization that is most important thing you know whatever website okay whatever website you do you must know the search engine optimization anyone know about search engine optimization anyone have you heard this word why some people are calling no doctor ah okay do you know search engine optimization search engine optimization mean when you go to google for example like this okay you search okay best printer for home you see what will happen what will come out okay this one ad ad mean this is google ad of course it will come up but you have to see which website come up first in this case uh you see this website coming up it mean this website are really powerful in search engine when people search okay immediately google can detect for example ah uh, okay this website ah uh, i do search engine for this website ah uh, this lecturer okay my friend is a, a retail smart retailing marketing lecturer so if anyone search smart retailing lecturer in the internet okay lecturer malaysia his website will pop up in the top you see you see so people can easily identify you so i do some search engine optimization this one is very tough actually is very another level of training i'm not an expert but i know little bit about a uh, little bit about search engine optimization for this website i did search engine optimization okay so when people search smart retailing lecturer malaysia my friend's website will come up okay you see so how you want to personal uh, you how to uh, how to say yeah uh, how do you want to position yourself in the search engine okay that is the big uh, seo okay i will explain detail what is seo after this okay uh, the last one okay after you evaluate the website with the okay box mode uh, that is the beauty of the box mode you know you can do the search engine but some other free website builders uh, you have to pay and box mode is free you know if you want to upgrade it's very cheap only not very expensive okay and third sign up for a plan that suit your needs and budget you, you have to look at your budget and needs what is your need personal website business website and what is your purpose that is most important and choose a unique and relevant domain name ah uh, that is the thing you want to put the uh, what is your unique or relevant domain name for example let's say you are selling uh, you are running a restaurant you cannot put you know a uh, gilagila.com for your restaurant domain okay you have to find out the name 
which match with your restaurant. Maybe based on your brand. Maybe your restaurant name is uh, Restaurant Jamila, for example. So you just choose www.restaurantjamilan.com. <coughs> then you have to do domain mapping for the website to the website builder. Okay, uh, that later I will explain to you. Domain mapping means you have to connect the website builder, which is like a Bibli or Wix. Connect to that www.machisinto.com. You have to connect. Okay, uh, that is called domain mapping. Okay. The step six: you have to pick and design a template you like. In the website builder, there are some templates. You know, you can use any template and you edit edit the templates. Okay. Then step seven, after you pick, you have to customize. We will follow the, this process. Okay. Oh, sorry. This one, something wrong. Eh? Or oh, not this one. Uh, after customize template design, okay. Uh, upload your own contents. Review. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, there is another step here. Uh, pick a design template you like, customize the template design. Okay, oh, okay. Connect to apps, plugins, or API. Application programming interface, if available. Like Vibli, they do have apps. Okay. Then you upload your own content, for example, video, feature, and so on. Then uh, sorry, the oh numbers are missing, yeah. Sorry, yeah. This one should be here. Ah, right, right, correct, correct. Okay, correct, correct. Okay, step eight, step nine, and step ten. You have to preview your website and test your website. Is it okay or not? Whether it's preview as you design or something else. Then finally, set up your search engine optimization and publish your website on the internet. So these are the steps you have to follow when you design a website. Very simple step. This is for the beginners. For the advanced level, not like this. It's different. Okay. Okay. So these are the practical things. Okay. Before I move to website builder, let me go to the search engine optimization. Have you heard about this name, Google Analytics or Google Dashboard? Have you heard this name? Yes, Doctor. Okay, anybody experience of that? Um, just know how to search about it, but no extra experience. Oh, I see, okay. Good. Um, wait there. Uh. Actually, I, I'm using a... Uh, Oh my God, my screen is very. Okay, wait, uh, hold on, uh, please. Okay. I can show to you. Google Analytics. Once you design your website, try to connect to the Google uh, search engine optimization, especially Google uh, Webmaster. Okay, you go and search this one, Google Webmaster. Okay, uh, so normally uh, the webmasters will connect to this one. Get started. Once you've done your, you must have a domain. Eh? Uh, we call it go to search console. Okay. When you develop a website, 
any website you develop, you have to index the website in the Google search engine. Okay. Like my websites, all of my websites, you know, Dr. Filtha, Dr. Selvam, okay, my website, okay, all of my website has been connected with the Google. That's why, you know, I can see all the information over here. Okay, this is the basic one. If you want to know the advanced one, you go to the Google Analytics. This one I cannot teach because it's a very uh, big topic. I just show to you, I connect my website to the Google Analytics, okay? And the beauty of the Google Analytics means you can understand who are the people visiting okay who are visiting your website and also from where they are visiting your website you can analyze your website for example okay let me check for my website eh? uh, Okay. You see here, yeah? once I access my website, it will show someone access my website. From where it will show. Uh, so it's Sungaptani because I'm not in Sungaptani right now in Gitra because my because of my endpoint last location. Okay. You try to access my website m a t h i j l dot com. The number will increase. You try to access. This is called Google Analytics. Very simple one. Eh? You try to access. If you don't access, I know. Ah, uh, you see. Its number are increasing. Only three out of sixty. And all of you from the laptop, you know, not from the endboard. Are you listening or not listening? <laughs> I'm okay. I can teach, even though three people are listening. Ah, only three access my website. M A T. Uh, yeah. Doctor, the website cannot connect. I uh, you say this site can 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 be rich. No, m a t h i j l dot com. Yeah, correct. I I can access. Uh, I don't know, but I cannot. Some people can access. Oh, something wrong with you. <laughs> Let us see, I uh, see. So 86% uh, now you see, number I think, and I can see. Someone from Joko Baru, uh, then I can see someone click membership. Okay, you see, it's increasing. And I can click the location, then I can see the detail for my website, okay. Uh, so, traffic sources. This is called Google Analytics. So, you have to play around with the things. Okay. You see. Okay. All from Leisure. And... You see, only 20 access, okay, out of uh, 64, 65, 64 students in the class, only uh, 20 access, okay. So this is called Google Analytics. This one, uh, uh, you have to attend another training, okay. 
Okay. Now we go to the boxmode.com. Okay. All of you ready? Okay. Okay. Boxmode.com. Can you go? Okay. And the, yeah, the features is okay. The features uh, you you don't need to design the template, you know. It's a ready-made template and widgets customizable. You can customize and drag and drop. Just drag and drop the contents. And you can edit the code, HTML code and CSS code. Okay, project auto save. Okay. Uh -huh. And you can edit like this. Very simple. Boxmode.com. And pricing. Okay. Free one, you still can connect the domain, you know. Okay. And domain mapping, you can do free. And one GB storage they give. It means you can keep a lot of photos and so on. Okay. And they provide the SEO tools, you know. That's a beauty. That's why I choose box mode instead of Wibbly. I have a Wibbly yeah. account as well. Okay. Why I choose, okay, I choose uh, box mode. This is one of the reasons. Okay. Okay. I just want to ask the floor. Is there any other free website tools that you can share with me? Is there any other tools? Doctor? Yeah. Is it uh, the box mode is the same uh, like the DV Builder and also the Elementor? Uh, DV Builder, Elementor, it's a plugin uh, in the web, WordPress, you know, WordPress. Or, uh, um, but the concept is same, but the how to say the layout quite different. Okay, the interface quite different. It's similar to the DVI builder and the Elementor. Are you using Elementor? Uh, uh, yes, I'm using the Elementor. Free Elementor or Pro? Uh -huh. I don't sure. Huh? I'm not sure about that. Oh, not sure. You're using in the uh, which platform? WordPress? Ah uh, yes, WordPress. Ah okay, okay. You can use the uh, in Ele Elementor is good also. Okay, it's a drag and drop. Okay. Oh, uh, I just want to clarify, Doctor. Right? Uh, means that uh, if we have the webs, uh, the WordPress, then okay. we combine it with the box mode, or we just direct to the box mode. Oh no no no. Ah, uh, you cannot combine because box mode is a website builder. It's a separate one. It's not like a WordPress. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Box mode is like the Wix.com, Bibli.com, something like that. Okay. Okay. Let me. Okay. Good. Okay. So look at this one, Bibli.com. Okay. Ah, uh, this one, Boxmode.com. So this one, ah, uh, pricing. Yeah, you see pricing. Free one. Uh, you cannot connect to the domain. If you want to connect to your own domain, you have to pay per month eight ringgit, a uh, five ringgit, another five dollar, almost twenty five, almost twenty ringgit per month. You have to pay. But box mode, the full package a year only thirty three dollar. Okay, and you can do a lot of things. Okay. That's the beauty of uh, box mode. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you go to Bibli, quite different. Okay. I have an account of the Bibli. I also, you know, I'm also conducting the class uh, by using the Bibli tools last time. Uh, still conducting the classes by using the Bibli. But now I move to uh, box mode. Okay. So I have uh, some website over here. Okay, but uh, I have another account. I don't want to use this account. Uh, 
ओके आई थिंक आई हैव डेवलप्ड टू वेबसाइट्स फ्रॉम द विबली अकाउंट दिस अकाउंट वन ऑफ द वेबसाइट इज डॉक्टर फिल्सा डॉट कॉम दिस वन अनदर वेबसाइट इज okay oh that website is has been uh, removed actually okay i only have uh, this one this one ah this website okay in the website last time cbm sbm.com but since uh, domain expired so uh, it's on our website okay another website from the bibli bibli very nice also but bit expensive okay very user friendly okay so you can use also i just show to you maybe you can explore that okay now we go to the boxmore.com okay you go to the uh, boxmore.com you create an account start website for free my one is directly connect because i have created an account okay i log out okay log in so maybe you can create an account eh? you have to click here okay boxmore.com start for free okay start for free you click this one Oh my God, my one is still connecting because it's already connected. Let me show to you another way. Are you in the website right now? Yes, doctor. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, start free. Start for free. Uh, so my one is <laughs> okay. Then you go here, sign up. Okay. Then you create an account. Okay, create an account from here. Either you can try this one. Login. Okay. Or you create an account. Okay, I give you five minutes. Create an account first, then we can continue. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. You mean it, sir? Because you have to set up account. Okay. So I have to create one account, na? Huh? Uh, let me create one account like this. Okay. So once I create an account, uh, your account has been created. Then you will get one notification here. Okay, wait for a while.
Okay. Already created a account. Yes, doctor. Created one. Okay. Good. It's very simple actually. Okay, for me. Okay. So once you have created, you will see something like this. Am I right? These are the themes, you know, agency, barber shop, blank theme. What is blank theme? Blank theme means nothing inside, empty. You just design as as you want. The rest are uh, pre-defined or pre-designed templates. It's been already there. You just go and edit according to your preferences. Okay. So you just tell me which one you want. You want business or you want portfolio, personal website? You want personal or business? Business. Business, eh? Okay. Click business. Business and corporate templates, you see. There are a few things over here. Okay. Or you want to go for the, you know, let's say you want to go for restaurants. Also can. Business also. Restaurants and cafes. Okay. Hoodie. Okay, uh, this is one of the website. Can we go to the organic food? The design concept almost same. Okay, depend on which one you choose. Or you want to go for the shopping one. Okay, let let me choose the restaurant. I choose uh, start website for free. So it will fetch data. You just follow my steps. Very simple one. Okay. And the most important is your internet should be very, very fast. Otherwise, you have to wait for a long time, keep on looking at the screen. You see, my internet speed is 100 megabyte. Still, it will take time to generate the, you see, SEO data, Everything, uh, loading application, whatever I told you, loading page data, now it will come up. Okay. Now you see. Your website is done. Now your duty is you have to redesign and customize accordingly. Okay. If you want to upgrade, okay, let me go one by one, eh, the function, okay. If you want to upgrade, okay, I, okay, I start from here, this, this, this side, okay. So we have a one, two, three, four, five pages, okay. You want to add page, also can. Okay. Then, if you want to upgrade, what will happen? When you click upgrade, it will ask you to pay $33. So when you pay $33, what you will get? You will get one year free custom domain, which is you can choose www.iampenye.com uh, or www.friedchicken.com. Uh, they will give you free domain and they will upgrade from 1 GB storage to 5 GB storage and they will remove their branding. Uh, there is some logos, you know, will pop up in your website, like a box mode. It won't appear. Just pay $33 for one year. You don't need to buy hosting. You don't need to hire the website developer. You don't need to buy domain separately. Everything included in the package. Okay. Uh, that's a box mode.com. Okay, what is the 33? Okay, 33 equal to how much? Yeah? Uh, 33 to RM. Uh, 136 ringgit by today, maybe less. Okay, just pay 130 ringgit and you can come up with a very proper website. Okay. 
I cancel this one. Okay. Can I continue? Is it, is it very simple? Yes. Quite simple. Very straightforward, very simple website development. Actually, I hope uh, you don't learn the website just for the purpose of the assignment. You learn the website and you develop the, your personal website. You dump everything about yourself. Your activity during the campus life, your leadership skill, everything you just put over there. Even your assignments, you just put there. Okay, your assignments, your projects, everything you put there. Okay, by subject, you uh, you know, allocate the menus. Then you put the assignments. So in the resume, you put your website. So the employers can see your website. Maybe your website, website will be a first impression for the employers. Okay, the first impression is very important. Oh, they look at the website. Very good, huh? The student very active, a very good leadership skill, active in, you know, during the campus. You cannot put everything in the resume. You cannot send the resume with the photos, you know, just one photo only. The what until uh, here only. You cannot put the full photo. Okay. So now I want to start a fresh organic food business. Okay, what is this actually? This is this website looks like this in the computer when go to tablet it's going to be like this we call it mobile friendly okay mobile friendly Wait, eh? Okay. Ah, uh, sorry, yeah. Okay. So you see, tablet. When you search the website in the end phone, it's going to be like this. So your website, it's automatically user-friendly and also mobile-friendly website when you are using box mode. Very important, you know, your website should be mobile-friendly website. Otherwise, people will not going to search your website or browse your website very important okay and this is back redo and undo and redo button okay and this one you can preview when you design this one before you publish you can preview and see how does it looks like the original website going to be like this then you can click about us. Okay, then gallery. Home, you can back to home. Okay. If you want to back to editor, you can click back to editor. If you want to publish, Okay, without design anything, you don't want to customize. You just want to see how does it looks like. You just click publish. When you publish, for the first time, it will ask because you are not connecting to any domain, you know. So it will use boxmode.io. So let's say uh, organic food. I put organic food. Then I can publish. Oh, it's already taken. Organic food, Jitra. Uh, not yet taken. Okay. Remember, you cannot simply change this one, you know. You can do it only once. Just choose one time only. You cannot simply change and change and change. You cannot. Okay. And you can do multiple websites in single account. You understand or not? One account does not mean one website. One account, you can do many websites. 
maybe organic food ditra.com maybe another one organic food corolopol.boxmod.io uh, you can connect no problem okay now i connect this one i publish okay It will take time. Okay. Okay. So it's already connected. If let's say you want to connect to custom domain, also can. If you want to connect to custom domain, you have to use this approach. Okay. You can add on domain. You or you directly buy from here. For example, let's say organic. Food, Jitra. I want to buy. I search whether available or not. Uh, it's available, and I can buy. But you don't buy like this. You know, it's a waste of money because better you buy the you upgrade your account, and this forty ringgit will be included in this thirty three dollar. So you just on uh, pay around uh, how much? Eh? Around nineteen dollar only per year. Then second year you have to pay thirty three dollar plus fourteen dollar for the second year domain. Okay, that's the thing. If you don't want, you just leave it like that. Organic food Jitra boxmo dot io. If you want to connect, ah, uh, you can connect also like this. Okay. Okay, that's the thing. If I connect, okay, let's say you want I connect with my domain. Do you want I can connect? You buy your domain elsewhere, somewhere, and you connect to this one. Would you like to know about that one? If you don't want, I can skip. You can see. Huh? We want to see. Sir. Okay, you want to see? Okay. For example, I go to my domain. Eh? Okay. I have few domains. I go very technical, you know. Today, be technical. Okay. I go to my account. My account is here. My domain account. Then I go to my domain. Okay. Uh, manage DNS. You have to connect all of these to this one here. Okay. Yesterday I buy the domain for the you know this is Salam Society. Okay. So maybe I can connect to the Salam Society as well. After that I can remove. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's say I add new zone. I can add here. Okay, so instead of doing this one, what I can do, uh, I click my domain, I go here, let's say I use the another one, eh? only active one. Okay, so I want to connect to the, uh, let's say Silam Society, I want to connect. So I can manage the, Domain. You have to, this is called domain mapping. You have to connect the server address, this hosting address to the domain. Okay, I click the name server. Wait a Okay.
Uh, hold on, eh? uh, I can't find out here. Is another place. Okay. Maybe I can try the another one. Okay, over here. IP address. It's a bit technical, eh? so I have to connect and zoom. Uh, this is we call it dns uh, uh this one okay so i have to copy all of this okay then i have to edit here okay so this one uh, a name is elias okay i have to put type a TTL, no TTL, and I have to copy this one. Then uh, triple A, I have to put. Okay, so I have to edit, you know. I have to edit here. Okay, then only it will function. Okay, let me try. Yeah, I just give a try because I don't want to waste time here. Okay. Uh, And after you configure this one, then you can connect here. I have to verify. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't check the CNAME record. I have to copy and this one copy for is sometimes it will take time. So I have to delete it will take time. Huh? So this is the way of connecting this one. You have to connect to your domain. Once you buy the domain, you have to connect that one. Okay, this one I delete. So I have delete all of this one by one. It will take time. I explain. Not yet start recording, yeah? Okay, it's recording. Okay. So before uh, noon, before our break, I explain a few uh, theoretical things. And also I show to you uh, Okay, I show to you uh, some important things, hosting, domain, and also website development by using website builder. And I introduce few things, but I don't really uh, go into uh, technical aspects of each and everything that I told you, for example, domain, hosting, and so on. But I focus on website builder, uh, which is box mode. Okay. And I hope all of you in the screen 
which is uh, already in the editor mode okay so i go to go uh, dashboard dashboard mean to edit the website so we already have one website which is projects okay as i mentioned to you just now you can add as many as you can in this one okay create a new project new project mean new website okay maybe you want to try the personal website let's say personal website okay so you can go to the personal website so we i'm teaching based on the template which has been pre-installed in the system so from one project so i create another project so i will have a two different websites in my single account you can use same account for multiple web pages ah you see this is another website okay ah. this one is personal website i more like something like this okay you guys can focus on the personal as well okay you see okay so i can publish this website as well so i can put okay uh, let's say mjl okay so okay so now i create another website so i copy this one then i can see this one over here this is one of the website for the personal and in the meantime i have another website as well okay i can go to dashboard and i can go to the projects so i have a two websites so i have a latest uh, launched okay, website and also i can copy this one uh, so this is organic food before our lunch time or before our break time i created this website it yet to be edited okay we can edit this one two websites you see okay if you don't want these ads keep on pop up uh you just pay 33 dollar per year then your ad will be disappear and also your account will be upgraded okay okay let us uh work on this website okay are you with me yes doctor okay so if let's say yes, you don't want this okay thank you if you don't want this one you can delete you know you can delete you can delete delete finish okay if let's say you published you want to make it no one anyone see your website you can unpublish as well unpublish mean this one uh organic right you see here i have unpublished now i click organic food hitra box mode dot io is own function you see that is function so you can publish and unpublish website don't worry yes if i want to publish again i have to go here okay now man i will go okay dashboard okay so when you click the dashboard you will see you can go to the facebook page okay there they give lot of tips over there you can learn from the help center and also you can learn from the connecting custom domain and so on okay projects account uh, you want to change your name also get billings and subscription if you want to update you can update very simple so now we go to web page and we go to edit we are going to edit the website i will explain uh, the elements and also the components in the websites 
the basic websites. Okay, I have explained menus in the top. Okay, so later we publish again. Okay, now only two menus, you know, only two uh, line of menus. Menu on the top, menu on the left side, this one. That's it, very simple, straightforward. Okay. Okay, see, this one, this one, this one, this one. That's it. Okay. Okay. Let's say suddenly, okay, you don't want something from any template. You want blank one. You can do also blank mean nothing inside. You can start from scratch. I explain one by one. Eh? One is with the templates. Another one is an empty one. Empty one, you have to start from zero. Okay. See, nothing. So what you have to do? Nothing, right? Uh, so this one is a bit complicated. Okay, let me uh, teach something, one blank one, then we go to the uh, template one. Okay. If blank one, you can add, you know, for example, add pages. Okay, add pages. Okay, then you click this one, setting, home, set as home page. You need a home page, you know. You set the home page. Okay, page title, home, description. Welcome to my organic food. Organic food store. And you are, uh, this is so-called SEO, search engine optimization. Okay. Uh, something that when people search, they can find out like this. Okay. For example, you can put organic. Okay. This one, it's big, very big topic. Maybe you can put something. Okay. And you can put comma and you can put, okay, organic. Okay. This is just leave it blank. Okay. This is a complete or partial copy of another page. Okay. Link. Okay. No need. Okay, block search indexing, non indexing. If let's say you don't want to index this website in Google, you just put like this. Okay, otherwise, you just put it like this. This allow crawling, crawling means web crawling. Okay, and social network from library, you can put. Okay, what is this actually? It's a picture, you know, and you describe page title also. Home. A description social networks if let's say you have any social network okay you can put the social network okay okay like this you can get from the free photos as well uh, for example like this okay or you want to just put home whatever is it okay seo general social network three things only we don't want to make it black, black. Okay, apply. Okay. If you want to delete, you can delete. But this one black, you cannot delete. Okay, leave it like that. Then you can play around, you know, buttons, markups. Typography widgets, uh, widgets. Uh, which one you want? In instead of creating one by one menu, what you can do? You can directly drag and drop. Okay, like this. You see navigation menu. We put like this, right? Okay, that's why we can delete now. 
Okay. So you want to add, also you can add. Okay. This one is a bit tedious. That's why you know, I don't use this approach. I just use the template setting. Okay. It's already there. Why you want to start from scratch? You don't need to. Okay. Let's say about us. Okay. You can put about. Okay. Don't put set home page. Eh? Only one home page. SEO, if you want to put it blank, also can, but better you put about the same thing. Okay. Then SEO and everything, then you apply. Okay. That's the thing, you know. You can play around with this one. Okay, okay. Image bar, widgets, and so on. Gallery, footer, this one, okay. Footer is something you put down here. This one, uh, okay, you see. Media, buttons, markups, typographics. Typographic mean? Uh, you can put the paragraph paragraph over here okay then you edit okay okay and this one you can do also okay you can customize accordingly okay then you can put the pictures over here this one typography, okay, headings. If you want to put heading, you can put the heading. It's a bit tough, you know, because uh, welcome to my page. Oops, sorry. Edit, okay. That's why, you know, I start from template. It's already there. Okay, widgets here. If you want to delete, you can click, click this one, you can delete. If you don't want, you can change also template. Suddenly you want to change something like this. You don't want on the top one, you want the left menu. You can choose this one and your menu will be here. If you don't want, you can move around also. Where do you want to put? Okay, you can change. This one, and you can put setting here, add item. Okay, you don't play with here, what you can do, add items, better. It's very easy compared to the another one, setting. Then you can play around products. Okay, you see, it's already here. Okay. If let's say uh, you want to put some more, okay, add, add item. Sometimes, you know, you want to put setting here and action type, you want to go to URL, jump to page. Uh, any page you want to jump, you can do, or just put to URL. You can type URL, otherwise you can make it black. Okay, let's see. Okay. Any question? This is a bit difficult. I start from very difficult stage. Okay, how you can do? Okay, we have a lot of things, you know. You want to put the buy now, footer, maps, header. Okay, what type of header? If you don't want header, something like that, okay. Let's say you don't want header like this. You can delete this one. Delete. And you go here. You go to the widgets. You take the header. You take header something like this. Ah, 
you can take also this one better looks nice i see this one looks very nice apart from that we have a widgets you know paypal button and so on you want to put you can configure also this one you click you can setting okay this one you can do even you can edit the uh, the settings okay border what border you want size of the border okay shadow all of this whatever you want to do do okay then you want to move also can uh, this is a move where do you want to put you don't want to put there you want to put here also can or you don't want to put here you want to put on the top bottom also can okay or um, top right okay you want to put somewhere here okay uh, you can type something like this so it will change you see you know what put like this okay you want okay so you can edit accordingly so if you don't want delete so these are the some this one layout display flags and this one you can't see because you don't have all of this okay so you can add the photos let's say you want to add the photo here you can drag and drop oh, you see the photo is here you want to edit you click edit okay image text change image also again you want to change like this you want to crop you want to fill feed everything or you want the one you want to change also can okay so this is how we go from the basic one nothing okay nothing actually it's very simple one okay, okay. and also we can drag the video buttons markups okay, typographics only this menu not more than that very straightforward okay you can put the form as well okay this is a basic element if you want to put the video you can put video here let's say you want to put video You can make it small or you want to put the video okay you see you when you can put youtube videos okay let's say youtube uh, i have one youtube account maybe uh, you can help me to subscribe my youtube channel this is my youtube channel uh you can if let's say you want to learn about Bibli tutorial, you can learn from my website and you can subscribe my uh, account. Okay, please subscribe. I can share with you. Maybe I can share to uh, Shantini. Maybe Shantini can share to others. Shantini, are you here? Cancel, cancel, cancel. Okay, I share to you, then you share the video link. Okay. Okay.
you see uh, this is one of my this is my youtube channel i share the link to shantini you go and watch Bibli. okay i have a tutorial one hour tutorial over here okay so you can check here and do not forget to subscribe my channel okay so i can copy my link i can put here Uh, my YouTube channel is here. My video is here. So now I'm, I, I show to you uh, with some unstructured uh, elements. Later you can assign it. Okay. If you don't want this one, you can delete. Okay. Whatever is it. Uh, you want to put the button. You want to put button. You can put the buttons. Okay, whatever buttons you want to put. This one button, you don't want to delete. Okay. So these are the elements. Remember, the elements is here in the plus button. Media, image, video, buttons you can put. Okay, and you can create a link to the button. Okay, for example, I put one button here. Then I click this button and I create hyperlink. For example, I create hyperlink to my website, let's say. Uh, so I I can put hyperlink. Okay, open a new tab. That's it. So when I launch, when I click this website, okay, uh, it will go to straight away to my another website. Then I can change also color. Okay, what color you want to change, you can change. I see. And this button, movable. You can move anywhere you want. If you feel this one not nice, you delete. Okay. You want to put here, also can. Uh, depend where you want to put. Okay. Then this button. Okay. Image, video, markups. Uh, this is the container. This container is like, you know, uh, you can put the picture as well. For example, I put this picture. Let's say I put this picture, three photos. I put uh, this picture. Okay. So. The picture is here, so I can put here. Oh, this will be. So it, it, it will create the space. Okay, it will create the space. That's the thing. Okay, markups. Okay, you drag and drop any way you want. You can change the color as well. If you don't want color, you can put white color or red color, whatever color. If you don't want, you can put it like white color looks like a space okay that is called container okay and typography uh, you want heading paragraph and quote quote means when you click the code it's going to be like this something like this then you can write over here maybe quotations okay that is typographic and widgets widgets uh, you can put the slideshow. Slideshow means not a PowerPoint slideshow. Huh? Slideshow for the picture. For example, I can put the slideshow. I just drag and drop. I'm not designing. Huh? I just show to you what will happen. Uh, so this one, normally people will put over here. Uh, in the top of the page. Like here. I delete this one. I delete this one. So, uh, looks like proper home, and there is a slideshow. Then you can change the picture. You just click, and you can change the template, and also you can change the picture. Go to setting, and you can change the picture. Maybe let's say you are designing for your business, you can upload your own picture. Okay, uh, that's the thing. You can upload. If you want animation, uh, which type of animation you want? 
Now is a bounce. If you don't want bounce, maybe you can put flip Y uh, like this. Fade, uh, fade, like this. Slide up. Are you with me? Oh, it's quite boring to listen all of this. You see? Are you okay? Yes, we are with you, doctor. Ah. We are here, doctor. Okay, okay, good. So this one, edit. Uh, it's an image. I cannot change. I, I thought it's a text. Actually, it's an image. So I can change, you know. Let's say I want to change my image. I can upload also. If let's say I want to put my handsome face, I can put. I go to my page. I go to my Dropbox and I keep a lot of photos here. That is my photos here. Uh, my photos. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, my pictures. Okay, my photos. So I can put my picture. So I can make it big, you uh, know, like this. <laughs> okay. Then you have one page, and you have a code like this. So what you can do, you can put code here, make it nice. Okay. Then you can put any codes. Okay. And maybe you want to put uh, codes from website. You just want to copy Abdul Kalam codes. Okay. Let's say you want to. Okay, Abdul Kalam. Okay. So I want to copy this code. Okay, I put it here. Okay, then I want to put color for this one also again. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to put something, edit. Okay, I can put. Then I don't want this, I delete. Then I don't want this, this space, delete. So, I want to make it smaller. I can make it smaller or bigger. I want to make it smaller. I can make it. Okay. So, the thing. The same goes other things also. Uh, you can put the forms as well. If let's say you want to put forms, okay, uh, you can put here. And this form, you can link to your email. Somebody uh, send email, it will directly go to your email. For example, you can put setting, you know. Okay, I put setting and field setting. Okay, uh, placeholder field send data to uh, my email. Let's say I said to my uh, madijl at gmail.com. Okay, and button. Okay, fill. This is just leave it. If you want to edit, edit. Okay. If let's say I publish, let's say I publish. Okay. Now I publish. Huh? I just want to test that form. Okay, copy. I go to this website there. Huh? Okay, you see the website that I designed, a photo, this one, everything is here. Suddenly I want to send something. Okay, okay, submit. You see, yeah, this email will be sent to. I see. Box mode, feedback, 
box mode it sent to me so i said df ddf uh, here i it come so it will going to be live setting yeah live setting so you can edit all of this so that's a beauty of having the widgets okay that form header i think i explained you can put the maps also okay let's say you want to put map i just want to show okay you can put anywhere you want maps okay you don't want to put here you can put here you can put in the top uh, bottom also can okay you put your maps here and you delete this one this is unnecessary one and you put and you make it big also can okay then you can edit with your maps setting then you can type okay taman gemilang my home address ajitra uh, gedah okay my home address ah uh, 257 okay so it will straight away detect Oh, oh, kota Sarah sebut bukan. Taman Gemilang, Citra Kedah. Let's see. Ah, you see, Taman Gemilang, Citra Kedah. So, not to save. Just cancel. It will save. Okay. And also, there's other things. Maps. Okay, footer. Footer. This one. The black color one. PayPal button. Ah, uh, if you want to do for business, you can do that one. And also gallery. Okay. You can put the gallery for the pictures. Like this gallery. Let's say you have a picture. Okay. Then you put the things. Then you put PayPal button. Okay. For example, if let's say you uh, you have one uh, one product. Let's say, okay, you have one product. What is that? Uh? Let's say, a uh, com keyboard. Let's say you are selling a keyboard. Okay. I save this one first. So if let's say I'm selling a keyboard, so what I can do, I can put the picture first, okay, by using the widgets, you can put the paper button, but basic element, you can put the media, image, Okay, you can go use this one, this button better. Okay, picture. Um, let's say I need such. Oh, what it? Okay, I can use this picture. Let's say that. Okay. Okay. Let's say this picture. So I can use the container, you know, to break the session. Okay. So red color, uh, I create the container, then I can separate. Okay, like this. Okay. So maybe I can change the color. So I can click. Uh, sorry. I can click this one and make it white color. Okay. We can delete this one. Okay. Then I can put my widgets, which is people want to buy, right? Okay. I can put here. Okay. 
Okay, buy now. Then I click. I can put setting. Product name. Okay, I put this one. I did tax, tax product name. Okay, then this one. Okay, uh, keyboard. Okay. So I put like this. Same goes to other widgets, gallery and so on. Okay, then I republish. I start from the scratch. Yeah? Okay, now I copy. Then I go and view the website. It depends on your creativity. Yeah? How do you want to design? I just uh, simply do. Just want to show the elements. Okay. Then I go here. You see, I click this one. So it will go. You have to connect. Okay. That one setting. Yeah? Then people can pay directly to you. That's the thing. Okay, you can sell the product by using the box mode. Okay, how effective is it? I'm not sure about that one. Okay, because I never try. Okay. Wait there. Are you here? Or lost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So actually, it's uh, you will learn a lot when you practice more. Practice make you perfect. I don't learn all of this from any school or from any university. I learn by myself. Okay. I explore and learn. Okay. At my time, uh, when I was a student, nobody talked about this one, uh, the website and this one and that one. Okay, you have to put your own effort. Okay, so I explained to you the uh, sorry, uh, uh, like me. Okay, so now I can go back and I can work from my project, which is template based. This is empty, which I teach you each and every component. Uh, how do you want to position? It's up to you. Okay, and now we go to the, uh, the <clears throat> available one. Okay, let's say I don't want this one. I want to go for another one. Okay, I can go to uh, create a new project. I add another website. Okay. Oh, business corporate. This is a corporate profile, but I don't want. I want something which I can sell. Maybe I can go to the real estate. Okay, selling the properties or restaurant and cafe or shopping. Okay, I use shopping. Software technology, travel tourism. Okay. So I can choose whatever uh, or discover all. Barbershop. Okay. So I choose, uh, let me choose now. I choose shopping. Okay. Maybe I can choose this one. Uh, this is very simple to edit because it's already defined in the form of template. Okay. So this is a jewelry store. Okay. So um, it's already here. Okay, we see here. Eh? We publish first, then we see how does it looks like. Okay, MJ Jewelry. We publish.
Okay. So I have a Jeopardy store. I see. So uh, earring, rings, brace. Okay. And the clip, it will go to earrings. All the earrings, rings. Then, uh, you see, they put the price, but they don't uh, put the button off buy the items. Uh, you see, it's very uh, properly designed. Okay, then you can edit back this one bracelet. Okay, this one. So let's say I want to edit. Okay, I want to change to edit. I don't want to jewelry store. So I put uh, MJL jewelry. Okay, and I don't like this one. I edit. So what I can do? Uh, oh, I cannot because it's the image, right? So I have to change the image. Okay. Uh, if you want free photos, you can go to this website, excels.com. There are so many nice photos over there. Excels, stock photo. Okay, it's a very famous one. Okay, if you want to edit your photo, okay, if you want to edit your photo, you can go to certain website as well. Okay, uh, you can go to certain website which is uh, remove background. For example, you take the photo of the picture. Okay, uh, you go here. Let's say you have a uh, you know, uh, picture of, let's say you take a picture of plate. Okay. Okay, something like this, right? So what you can do, uh, you want, you don't want this, this one right so what you can do you can save this image this is for the photo editing yeah okay and you want to remove background you just upload okay i see the background already removed so only the picture you want to download download just click and download uh, sometimes you want picture without any background right uh, you can do like this okay anyway so you can find out the photos over here also very nice photos for example uh, you want to uh, get a picture of the let's say uh, technology or jewelry So I can take from here as well. So you can take these pictures are not copyrighted pictures, eh? free, free to use. Okay. Let's say I want to take this picture or this picture. Just click. Then I can choose the which size I want. Okay, let's say I want this size, medium. I free download. I keep this one. Then, I just, I want to change this picture, right? The old picture, this one. Okay, this color, this picture. So I can change, click this one change from live uh, from computer so where is it uh, i can put this picture so now change ready so then i can edit here same goes here if you don't want you can edit this one this one actually container. Okay, this one container and they put picture. You see, this is container. You can see the name, you know. This is, uh, uh, this is image. This is image, okay, uh, text. This one text. 
okay this one text okay this one image and this one container if i delete this one everything gone so it's depend on how you want to design okay and you put the picture here if i don't want i can delete this picture i can replace with something maybe i can put picture like this okay i can go to media basic element i go here oh, i want to uh put the video let's say i want to put the video of uh maybe uh you know jewelry i go to youtube i want to put video here let's say jewelry okay so i want to put jewelry something like this or something like this then uh, jewelry okay let's say i want to take one photo uh, from here okay okay so i can click here change video i can put paste oops it's there okay don't auto play look don't mute sound uh, just let it be like this or mute sound okay then you can make it bigger okay how do you want to stretch it depend on you if you want to stretch bigger also can okay this one and also you can change everything here okay everything if you don't want you just click uh, so under the container container mean uh, in the container you can keep images and everything okay this is one container this one container uh, this is one container so i can delete also uh, everything gone you see if you accidentally delete you can back also this is a back button i uh, see redo undo redo uh, redo uh, no no this is undo this is redo okay you see you can go also i think two or one time only you can redo and undo okay then these other things suddenly you think i want to add one more or one more menu so what you can do you can click okay uh, you can click setting and add item what do you want to add maybe you want to put uh, mm, our let's say our facebook let's say lah okay you want to connect to the another url outside of this one okay jump to page then uh, no no not jump to the page to url maybe you want to connect to the facebook maybe you want to connect to the personal facebook of your okay. for example this is my personal facebook so i copy i just go here and paste and open a new tab means when they click it won't open within the page it will open in another tab okay that's the thing do finish and you also can arrange back you know you can arrange contact us you can put it down maybe you want to put facebook in the second okay now you see home up facebook about contact change ready if you want to change to other things also can I don't want this one not nice i want something like this Boop. choose okay you can change also setting okay 
Uh, this one. You can do or template. You can change. We, if you don't want like something like this, you want something on the left menu, you can choose as well. Okay, but not nice actually. This one is better. Okay. Okay, then you can padding. Padding this one, you know, the adjustments. Okay, this is the padding. I see here, yeah? I put zero. I put uh, under 20, you see. I put 20, zero. I put uh, 10, <laughs> there is a space. Okay, I can put here 10. I can put here 10, for example, only. Okay, so it looks like nice box. Okay, spacing, maybe I can put, let's say, 6, 16. Big, look, bit scratch a bit. Okay, I can put. Okay, that's it. Okay, hover, default. Even I can uh, change the color. Okay, maybe I want to change the background. Maybe I can change the background to red color. Okay. Okay. With the border, no border, shadow, color, everything you can change. Okay, this one. Bold. Okay, text. Default mean when you look at like this. Hover mean when you go nearby, it's going to be changed, right? Uh, that is hover, hovering. Okay, maybe when you go, you want different color. You don't want white color. You want uh, other color. Also then. Uh, you see, if I change to green color, it will be green color. Uh, everything. Okay. And this is the home page, right? How I can change the about page? You just click about page. Or you can click this one, about. It will go to the about page. Then you change the about page. You customize the about page. This is about pitch. Okay. If you want to add page, you can add the page also here. Okay, so I don't want I delete. Okay, so if I go to contact, I go to contact. Then I can, uh, I can customize my contact page. Okay, so I explained to you all of these widgets. And I explained to you the projects, okay? And this one actually is, uh, you know, uh, you can click this one. Actually, uh, it's a, we call it layer section now. You don't need to click here. You click the container maps. It will go here. You go to the container, this container, this container. You, you, you can see the blue color, you know. If you go here, image, uh, image this image. If you click container, uh, this container. So actually, this is navigation. Okay, navigation. Uh, actually, it's navigation bar. Okay. Okay. And this one, uh, you can play around also. Height, auto, you know, all of this. Width, margin, padding. Okay. This one, uh, you can change it if you want. And display, flex. Inline block. Uh, you don't disturb too much all of this, okay? Oh, this one. So once you click the element, you can play around. You see, yeah? everything will change. You see? You can play around with this one. Okay. For example, if you click this one, 
So you can adjust accordingly, typography, link setting, background, flex. Okay, this one. And if you want center, you can put center, horizontal, vertical. Okay, horizontal mean like something like this. Uh, vertical mean vertical. Okay, something like this. Okay. Once you've done all of this, then only you go to publish. If you don't want to publish, you preview also can. Publish means it's already in the uh, in the you know indexed page. Preview means it's not yet published. It's not available in the search engine. Okay, that's the meaning. Okay. So now we preview or publish. We publish, republish. Okay. Okay, and you can go to the account setting and also you go to the project, the last one, eh, project. Okay, uh, this one, right? You can go to the project setting to set your uh, SEO. Okay, uh, now you set your project name, MJL Jewelry Store. And you describe the uh, describe about your shop, and you want uh, favicon. Favicon means uh, when you launch the website, you will something like this. This one, right? Facebook. Uh, this is called favicon, favorite icon. Okay. If you go to my website, you can see also. Ah, uh, this is my favicon, my picture. You see. Okay, this one SEO, uh, you can do also, you edit this one, okay, you can do uh, this one, you have to go to actually uh, Google, okay. Okay, I can send to uh, webmaster, well. Go to search console. I try to do this one. I don't know whether it can be success or not. Okay, robot text. SEO, this is to index your page in the search engine. Okay, I try to add a new page, yeah? add a property. Okay. Let me publish, save and changes. We try and see yeah, whether I can go or not. Okay. Ah, this one can't verify. I copy, I put here. Um, I don't know whether it's going to function or not. I forgot already the, the, the protocols, okay? Oh, this one is you know, already. Okay, this is all complicated. So I just keep this one. Eh? Um,
to try over here. Hmm. I have to verify this, uh, some steps, you know. Let me try. I forgot the steps ready. <laughs> okay. Okay, it doesn't work actually. I think maybe for the subdomain doesn't work. Okay, uh, the last one SEO. Um, if let's say you're able to get the domain, like a www uh, .com, for example, eh? uh, maybe you can pro, uh, you can customize the SEO robot robots.txt. Okay, you can edit and you can put the txt file here, uh, and you can verify it. Okay. This one sitemap X, uh, XML. Uh, this one also you can uh, actually you can get sitemap. Uh, you can generate the sitemap from Google as well. This is for the SEO purposes. Okay. I have done this one for my website, but for this website, it doesn't work. Okay. Okay. Mm, I think we can skip this one. Okay. I can sell. So you can play around with this one. Suddenly you decided to delete this project. Unpublish and delete, you can delete here. Okay. If you want to manage the domain, you can manage the domain here. If you want to add on domain, you can add here. Okay. Okay. Just now I verify, I try to verify with this domain. Huh? I just connected. Okay, it, it cannot be connected. Okay, never mind. So we just maintain this one. Okay. Uh, if you buy directly, maybe you can connect. Okay. So we go to dashboard. Okay. Go to projects. Go to editor. And we finalize our project. Um, it's going to be like this in the tablet. In the end phone, it's going to be like this. Republish. Okay, copy. You go, you check in your end phone. MJ Jewelry box mode dot io. Okay, the website is here. Okay. Okay. So I go to home page. I click our Facebook 
for example it will open in new tab i see and go to my page okay and this one and i put one video right uh, the video will be played here you see okay then the rest i didn't change i just let it be like that okay i don't want to edit everything one by one okay you can edit everything okay